Good afternoon, welcome back to another upload of It's a Dire Thing. Rob here, thank you very much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed, please do so and don't forget to hit that notification button there because this way you're gonna be up to date in regard to the most upload videos. Um, what I've been doing actually this week is working on Shad and their Terra series. So the TR36, TR47, and then the 35 and the 48. So the top cases and the side cases. So again, these are the Shad Terra series hard cases. Today we're actually going to view and I'm going to give you a tutorial video on how to assemble the lock, the tumbler. The Terra series will include three locks or three tumblers uh, with the right side case. Again, refer to my previous videos. Um, not only am I kind of giving you the features and the benefits and the explanations of the Terra series side cases, uh, but what's included. And then on top of that, actually the bonus feature for you guys as a consumer, uh, there is a promotion code in there that you'll be able to grab. And when you go into the shopping cart on the shadusa.com website, um, you enter in that promo code and it's gonna save you a big 20% on MSRP. Now that does exclude from taxes and shipping. But anyways, today is going to be the tutorial on how to actually put the tumbler because they are loose in a package. They come three per pack but you are expected to actually physically install the, the tumbler uh, into the side case and this is what we're going to do. The little tumblers and the locks itself... Birds, shut up! <sighs> Swear to God, this is what happens when you don't have a studio. You're working out of your apartment, nothing goes right. Anyways, um, the tumbler itself comes like that and then you would get the actual uh, pivot lock plate uh, which is basically assembled to the tumbler and that's what locks up your case and then you also get the actual screw here um, that you are to put into place. The screw does come with a lock tight already pre-assembled to it. Um, if you ever have to take it apart uh, or if you ever notice that there is no lock tight which is that blue colored uh, finish to it um, if you ever notice that there is no Loctite, then I would highly suggest that you do add some Loctite. So, what I would suggest is that, is that you physically remove the, the actual whole lock assembly. That takes two seconds here. So, uh, you lift up the handle, you take the Torx 20, the T20, and there's two screws that hold it in place. And you'll notice that there's also like a little bit of silicone, uh, silicone sealant uh, that also holds the actual lock assembly. Um, in its position here. So let's kind of reposition this. Hopefully this won't fall over. Stay there. Again, all right. You know what? You're not gonna cooperate with me, so there you go. Anyways, so once you get the actual uh, lock assembly, unfortunately, once you do, as you will notice, once you do install the tumbler, um, it's in and it will not come out. The only way you can take it out is there's a large hex nut that you physically have to undo, then it's gonna be the whole tumbler and the tumbler body that will come out of its position. So it's fairly simple to do. So even if I have this one installed and I cannot remove it to install a new one, uh, basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your key and you're gonna put it inside the tumbler itself. You're gonna notice that the tumbler has a, a bunch of little keys that are sticking out here. Well, they will disappear once you actually get your key in place. So that's basically how a tumbler or a lock assembly works, right? As you can see, it goes in and then it kind of all disappears. You'll see that there is one that stays open, right? This one here is actually what locks your whole tumbler assembly in the whole latch assembly, right? So basically, once you once you put this in and physically remove the key, uh, and it will actually this lock piece um, binds itself or, or catches inside one of the the slots inside this housing, and it will then not allow you to take this tumbler out. So once the tumbler's in, it's in. The only way to take this apart is by removing the whole housing. 
it is very simple to put in and again I wish I was able to take this out and show you but I can't uh, but once you do basically you put the lock into the tumbler the tumbler then um, in you would slide it into the housing here and you would slide it in where that's the lock the latch assembly and the, and the key in the lock assembly is like that so you'd want to slide it in this way and forward right so basically the key not like this but like this once you slide it in it will go into its place you'll pivot it at 90 degrees once you've pivoted at 90 degrees that little Woodruff key inside here actually locks itself into that body housing and holds itself there once that's done you could actually turn your key 90 degrees um, and then you would actually be able to pull it out and then the tumbler is going to stay in there once the tumbler is in there you then are going to take your lock body right so that little plate that little metal plate here let me show you so this little metal plate the lock body along with the the bolt and the washer and that goes now on the underside of your lock so just basically you can put it there in its place right like that but once you've removed this whole lock assembly it's just going to be a whole lot easier to attach this with your 932 or an 8 millimeter um, socket head right so whether if you do it with a wrench a key a socket um, don't over tighten it it doesn't need to be over tightened again that loctite is going to hold itself in its place so you should be fine with that so don't worry about that once that is now assembled you can now take your key and basically um, you can put the key in and you can test and make sure that everything works like i said again with a 90 degree goes from an, a lock to an unlocked position and how that actually functions here so i'll show you on the underside basically um, see that locking tab that locking plate is what you installed and then there's two other plastic tabs here here if i open this up let me kind of stretch it out a little bit here you can see there's this plastic tab here and this plastic tab here uh, basically that's what this locking plate locks onto right so again once you pivot that all right you'll see that it kind of closes itself in so you close the latch back onto the underside you give it a 90 degree turn and then now it's locked itself into place and the key now can be removed right so there you go opening it basically you're just opening it back out and just freeing it up so very simple to do once you've installed the actual tumblers onto the lock assemblies um, this is then where I would physically go back and then reassemble the whole lock assembly or the latch assembly back onto the bags um, why is there some silicone on the the cases I think it's just to help uh, for water infiltration just for for the water doesn't protrude inside to the tape the, uh, the top case though that there's no actual access into to the top case from the outside uh, even through the lock assembly I think basically since um, it's a deeper channel and how the system works it's just there to kind of eliminate uh, reduce the chance of it pooling up and then once it pulls up and you open up your top case let's say on a rainy day or something like that that it would kind of dribble in and that would still kind of suck because then that defeats the purpose of it being waterproof if it's all channeled up in here and it just kind of pours out so um, I think it's just simply a another way to kind of also hold it all in place just so that it doesn't uh, loosen up and fall apart so it's still a fairly simple and secure system um, even though they are basic screws you cannot access those screws when this cover is closed so there's not anything to worry about that saying oh some guy's going to come by and then kind of remove all the screws right so uh, one would have to work quite hard in regards to obtaining uh, access into this lock case system right so there you go once it's on it's installed we can close it up lock it up everything is good so there you have it very simple procedure super simple tutorial hopefully it's a, it's provided you with enough information on how to do the actual Terra series lock assembly from Shad. All right. Again, thank you very much for tuning in. 
Thank you very much for subscriptions. If you haven't done so, please do so. Don't forget to check out my other channel, my other videos that I have recently uploaded. Um, there is the overview of the Shad series, uh, kind of giving you all the features and all the benefits. And in from that, as I said again, there is a promotional code for you guys as a consumer where you can uh, go ahead and order up the goods that you want from shadusa.com. And then that will provide you guys with a 20% discount. That is for a limited time only, um, so don't wait too long. Otherwise, uh, unfortunately, that uh, code will no longer be functional for you guys, which would then super suck. So again, be good, be safe, have fun. Thank you very much. Don't forget, keep it covered, guys. Bye-bye.